What is happening, y'all? We are back with another episode of Elden Ring. And in the last episode, we had fought Melania and not won yet, so <clears throat> we are going to try another rebirth. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try a uh, bleed build. So we're going to raise our... Um, We're going to raise our uh, Vigor and Endurance to 40 and 35. Strength, we need a bare minimum, which we're going to raise it to 20. Or, you know what? We're going to cancel this for a second. Hold on. Let's check something out real quick. We're gonna do a Rivers of Blood build. So let's see, Rivers of Blood. We need a base strength of 12 and a dexterity of 18 and Arcanum uh, needs to be 20. I uh, really did want to use um, this weapon or e either one of these weapons will do but um, we do need a minimum dexterity. We are going to raise dexterity though to like 35. And we're going to keep strength at like 12. Since we're not going to be using a shield, we don't need to have strength very high. Because it doesn't matter if you block in this game or attack. We just need to avoid her attacks by rolling. Um, this is a twin blade. Um, it would be nice to use another twin blade like this one, which is, uh, has blood blade on it. Dual wielding twin blades is really sick, especially if they're both blood weapons. This one has just a blood, uh, type, uh, Ash of War. This one, uh, Blade Blood Dance, that one's a really good move. This one is Corpse Peeler. Corpse Peeler has a really, it's a really heavy, uh, um, like weapon, uh, weapon skill. Um, yeah, we're not going to use that, but yeah, that is a fire. Well, this is also a fire weapon too. This one would be a good one to use as a spear, but, um, watch this. See the fire damage and the physical damage, how they're both identical. So we're going to raise Arcane and Dexterity to get this weapon up. This one has a, a B dex, uh, dex Scaling and a D for Arcanum. So raising our Dex for this weapon and Arcane would be very, very good. So having a higher Dexterity than Arcane is going to help us. This one scales also better with Dexterity than Arcane. So it doesn't matter which one we use, this weapon does have a really good two-handed uh, weapon skill. This one, Corpse Peeler, is a really heavy attack that could block uh, or interrupt um, Melania's attack pattern. So I've seen. So, yeah, see how this is... We need 24 strength to wield it. We're just not going to use it. Um... We really don't need, um, you see these, these are really great to have, and having this to, because this will also, these make it so we take more damage, and this one, see how it's, it's going to raise our endurance strength and uh, vigor. We don't necessarily need to have this on, or, I mean, this one. We don't really need to have this one on, because this is what it's going to raise. Mind, intelligence, faith, and arcane. The only thing that's going to help us is the mind in this, uh, in that next fight, and arcane, but we, it doesn't matter. We don't need to have that on. Having this one on would be okay. It is going to take a, look at this. See how much defense we have right now? It's going to tank us on our defense just a little bit. Having this on increases it quite a bit. See that? 
that's for physical damage, and that's what Melania really does, is physical, and she does Scarlet Rot. But see how this is going to increase our immunity? But it lowers everything else, so we need these two on. So, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to have this one on, because I don't really care much for the Mind and Arcane. It will help us, but honestly, it's not worth having this thing. Watch this. Hold on, wait, my bad. Having this on. Now watch this. Look how much it takes off of our physical defense. That's a lot. It's a whole 10 points per. So we're just going to not put that one on. Um, having this on will increase our HP and stamina. That's okay. It does give us quite a boost, though. Look at that. It gives us a good boost. It's not, it's not too bad. This is boost, uh, vastly boost non-physical damage negation. And this is physical damage negation. This would be good if she did anything else. These items right here, these two, are good because it raises uh, immunity and robustness. But these, see this, there's robustness, immunity, and focus. This one greatly boosts room, uh, robustness, immunity, and focus. See the immunizing horn charm? We need the number two version of this one to increase our immunity. Because it won't... Uh, um, the Scarlet Rot will have less of an effect on us. Let's see. Enhances guard counters. Enhances final hit of chain attacks. Enhances charged attacks. Enhances stamina reducing attacks against blockers. Enhances attacks on horseback. Enhances jump attacks. We do need to raise stuff like that. But there is one of these. This tool right here lowers FP consumption of skills. That will be good when we are fighting because we are going to be needing our, um, our uh, Cerulean uh, magic stuff, whatever. Raises lightning attack, uh, raises holy, ra reduces damage taken from critical hits. Uh, increases rolling, but um, yeah, that's not good. Reduces damage and impact of headshots. Raises attack power when HP is at maximum. Uh, let's see. Raises attack power with successive hits. That might be a good one to use. Successive attacks restore HP. This might be good to use in the fight. Um, let's see. Can this just, okay. So, we're going to test... Uh, this one would be a good one to use. Raises attack power with successive hits or successive uh, attacks repair, uh, restore HP. So if we can get a number of hits in on Melania, it'll uh, repair our health. I'm not sure how much it repairs, but let's test that item out. And since we're not going to have the other one of the source seals on, we'll have a little bit more of defense. And with this, it's like this never happened. So, or it's like this isn't taking the effect when we have this one equipped. It kind of cancels that one out. But if we didn't have this one on at all, then this would greatly raise our defense. So, <clears throat> um, we do have faith moves on there. So, um, that are going to help us. So, we're going to keep that on there. Uh, we're not going to use the Sword of Night and Flame right now. It does have magic and fire, but it only, we only need the fire from this weapon. It is a plus 10, too. But having put... Um, to having, put uh, having to put our dexterity, intelligence, and faith points, you know, into those, it's going to... It just draws away from our strength. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Rivers of Blood... We need 20 Arcane, 12 Strength, and 18 Dexterity. And remember, we're not going in with a, uh, a, with a shield. So, let's go ahead and we're going to try to do this. Let's see if we can win. So, let's go with 40. We're going to go with 35. And mind you, 
the um, sword seal that we have on is going to raise our vigor, uh, vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity by 5 points. So we'll have 45 vigor, 40 endurance, and uh, we're going to put this to, uh, we only need it at 12. And the sword seal is going to raise it by 5 points anyway, so that we don't need to raise our strength. Um, we are going to raise our dexterity, though, to about 35. Well, let's put it to 35 for now. We don't really need our intelligence up there, but we do have... You know what? Let's cancel this first. Sorry, sorry. Let's see our... Uh, let's see our skills real quick. Okay, so the magic that we have on right now, let's let's go look at it real real fast. Okay, so flame grant me strength, raises physical and fire affinity attack power. This is what we really want. It's gonna it's gonna require fifteen faith. Um, this one is thirty faith, increases physical damage negation, black flames protection. That will help us in the fight for sure. So we're going to need about 30 faith so far. Flame of the Fell God summons a raging fireball that explodes and sets the area ablaze. That would be a nice move to use against her, but um, we're not going to use too many uh, incantations. And all the moves that we have right now are incantations. This is to heal us. We're only going to be able to use this in the first part of the fight. But we don't necessarily have time to use that healing. And the f channeling the, f the flame attack is not going not gonna to happen. Sets area and self ablaze with raging flame. This weapon... Wait, hold on. Sweeps the area before the caster with black flame. We don't need this one. But this one that sets area and self ablaze with raging flame, this will uh, will keep Melania from healing when she attacks us because it'll do damage to her. Uh, greatly increases fire damage negation. We don't need that one. We do. I wish. I wish we could use. Well, we could use this one. Creates blood flame laceration that explodes. We're gonna have high arcanum. Or arcane, sorry. Not, I keep saying arcane, but it's arcane. We could use that. That would be a, a move I want to try. So we're gonna um, we're gonna equip that one. Let's see what else can we use. Summon circle of black flame pillars around caster. Thrust out belly to gusto, unleashing a pounding shockwave. Um, heals every time it leaves blood loss, food things, and it creates beast claws. Um, bolsters caster's body with lightning. Yeah, Flame of the Fell God was a good one. It does do some damage and it sets Melania on fire. And it doesn't, we don't need to be near her when that attack lands, but we're not interested in using, um, a whole bunch of that. And we don't need a ton of faith either. I'm honestly thinking we don't need Black Flame's protection. I'm thinking about just using Flame Grant Me Strength. Because this doesn't last very long, neither does this. But we're not going to be able to use this in the second fight. And it costs 30 faith to use. So we're going to need to raise our faith uh, to about 25 to use this. So I would prefer to just... Um, to not have that on there. So we're just going to use these three, I think, for right now. Let's see. Yeah, we're not using that. Let's see. This one would be really good to use. This is going to cause Melania to uh, focus her attention on another source instead of us. I don't know how long it's going to last, but we can definitely see if that's a weapon, or sorry, a skill to use. So we need 19 faith. Ah, is it thy wish? To... Yeah, 
I think we got everything figured out now. So let's see. 40. 35. Don't need that. So let's raise this to 35. It'll actually be at 40. This will be at 40. This will be at 45. Um, intelligence. We don't need intelligence. So we only have 8 points of faith right now and we need 19 so we can put it to 14 and that'll give us just enough um or you know what no we need to put it to 19 because we don't have that sword seal on anymore um arcane let's go ahead and raise we have a lot of skill points like right now so let's see we only need 20 to use Rivers of Blood, but we want the uh, skill boost from the scaling. So, let's see. Uh, we have 36 points left. 36. And, let's see. So, now we have 30. So, 15 skill points, uh, let's see, 5 and 10, um, let's see, oops, um, we could raise our, oh, you know what we do, we need to raise mind, we can raise mind all the way to 40, and it was at 20, in a, let's say it's at 11, let's see, let's raise it to, 25 Okay, so that this will leave us with 10 if we have it at 31 Hmm Okay, so Let's go ahead and um we got ten. We got ten skill points left. I think I'm thinking about putting it to five to endurance and five to dexterity. But um, yeah, we'll leave um, mind right there. This is going to be at forty. This will be at thirty-five. This will be at. Uh, 17? Yeah, this will be at 17. This will be at 40. And this one, let's go ahead and, uh... Okay, we got six points left. Hmm... What to do, what to do? Putting into faith is not going to do much. So we have two skill points left. So let's put um, one there. And one here. Or you know what? Um, hmm. Leave dexterity there. Um... 40 points into arcane let's let's not do that let's well i don't know i don't know what to do actually that'll leave us with 50 vigor you know what let's uh Let's leave that at 40, and we'll put this to 40, so that way this one's at 45, this one's at 45. That'll stay at 35, and this one will be at uh, 41. Forty. Uh, you know what, let's put it up to arcane, actually. Point starting. So I think that's the way my build I want my build for right now. So let's undergo the rebirth. Okay. Cool. Now, now that we've got everything we want. Oh, I forgot I can't use this without the right amount of faith. 
That's a good one to use, but it doesn't matter. We could just use this one. Honestly, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, this one, the incantation scaling is better anyway. This one is even better than that. But it's boost dragon communion incantations. So we'll go ahead and use that one, I guess. I really wish that we could. You know what? I wanted to try to use this shield, but I don't have that much in the way of strength. So right now, um, this is all that we really need right now. We don't need shield grease, though. Uh, summoning the mimic is going to be specifically for, you know, the towards the end of the fight. Because once I can, uh, you know what? Let's craft some stuff right now. We got a lot of stuff we can craft. I wish we had living jar shards. I was thinking I might go and farm a couple of those just so that we can get that and turn to stone so that, you know, our guild is uh, up higher. I did hear that throwing freezing pots at Melania while she's in the air will interrupt her attack and bring her down. So, let's go ahead and make seven freezing pots. Go ahead and just make those. Um, we don't have any of those right now. I thought we had more of them, but I guess we don't. Okay, and we need to get more sacramental buds. I, those are just rare items, and I don't know if there's a uh, finite amount of them. Because if there is, then we're screwed. And what sucks is that's the only bolus that you, we have that has a, an ex, the, the exceedingly rare item to make them. And if it's a finite item, then we can't make it, and that sucks. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, I think think we are good because we're not going to be using a shield so what we're going to do is we're going to equip this and this is going to give us health uh, upon successive hits and everything else we have is just going to raise our attributes now let's check our attributes look at that 45 bigger uh, 35 mind, 45 endurance, 17 strength, dexterity is at 40, intelligence 9, faith 19, arcane 37. That's all we really need. So now, what we're going to do is we are just going to, wait, hold on, how many rooms do I, okay, I don't have any right now. What we're going to do right now is we are going to go, uh, do a fight real quick so that we can see how strong we are. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure we did this Evergale and this one and this one. Um, I think we did do this one. Yeah, we did do that one. This one, I, I don't know. Not positive. Uh, but there's this one right here, the Cuckoo's Evergale. I think we might have done that one as well. So let's see. There's there's one right there. The Royal Grave Evergale. Let's give this fight a try. So we're going to head here to behind the Carry a Manor. And we're going to go in. And we're going to fight. So. Flame Grant Me Strength is one we have to use right at the beginning of... Melania's fight and then the uh, fire's deadly sin is the next one remember we don't have a shield we could summon a mimic um,
Yeah. That right there is going to do us some magic right there. Oh, you know what? We can just collect root resin while we're around here, too. There's like 20 of them, I think. Or 18 in total. When we pick all of them up. I love this one-shot kill business. It's freaking amazing. Where's that Evergale? Oh, it's up here. I think I swear it's like right around here. Where'd it go? There, it's over here. Dang, I almost got that guy in one hit. this fight all right now we're not gonna have very much time to cast if this is that type of enemy so let's see playing grand new strength okay Using the Blasphemous Blade, too. That would be another weapon to use um, that does fire damage and a really heavy um, fire damage. See how fast we took that guy out? This Rivers of Blood build. Meteorite. That Rivers of Blood build, man, I'm telling you. It's a heavy attack. I wonder how much it's going to do to Melania because she's weak to fire. And every enemy is weak to blood buildup. And blood buildup in this game is a really tough one. Like, it does a lot of damage. So, that was a simple fight. We didn't even need a shield. Uh, we just, you know, need to evade right and, you know, keep on our toes and make sure we're not uh, panic healing. Uh, for, you know, you guys who may not understand what that is, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't have any more magic either. I'm just sitting here swinging it. Boom. Yeah, panic healing is when, you know, you're low on health and you're like, oh crap, oh crap, I need to heal. And you just do it and you don't even, you know, think about your surroundings. You're just like, crap, let me heal real quick. And it doesn't work. It really usually doesn't ever work when um, you do it and you end up dying anyway. Um, even though, um, we have, um, upgraded our flask completely, I think we've got all this, um, the sacred, sacred tears, I think that's what they're called, yeah, we've got all the chalices, the sacred tears that, um, increase the volume of health that you get back when you use these crimson flask. You see that? Watch that. Fire and blood fire. Like, blood fire attacks. Like, that. So this sword, like, it. Yeah, Rivers of Blood is, like, one of the best weapons in this game. Um, Eleanor's Pole Blade is another good weapon. So, we're gonna switch over to that one, actually. And I'm gonna show you guys. See, we've got Blood Blade Dance, I think is what the move is called. Yeah, Blood Blade Dance. 
see how that move is absolutely sick. Yeah, this move is. And we got that other thing that's um, lowering FP consumption from skills. Albanarix. Yeah, so I want to show you guys something to check this out. Make sure there's no enemies around. Because I don't want to get ambushed in my pause screen. So watch this real quick. Remember that pole blade? This one right here? This is another blade uh, weapon. Check this out. Dual wielding twin blades is freaking amazing. It's such a good uh, combination. So you can attack with just one weapon with uh, when you use your right-handed weapon, but if you use your uh, left-handed weapon, you dual wield. And you just switch over to that one when you... So, the only way you're going to dual wield two weapons is with your left-handed attack button, which is, for me, because I'm using a PlayStation, the ultimate gaming console, <laughs> is going to be L1 for me, your left trigger. And when you use your left trigger, like I said, it uses both weapons. And you just do a successive... And since I can't... Um, See how much health I got back from just... I don't know if you guys saw that, but... I'm gonna... Yeah, I couldn't show you, actually. I killed everybody, so... We're gonna have to try to find a stronger enemy to attack. It does give you quite a good amount of health back from, um... Um... What do you call it? from the skill or not the skill sorry the talisman that we have equipped from we that we got from the god god's kin apostle okay so real quick um we really don't need this weapon it does help dual wielding with that um, that talisman that we were using, or that we are using right now, this one. Successive attacks restore HP. So having two weapons equipped, and if you use the dual wield attack, both weapons will hit in succession, like one right after the other. And that's what gives you your health back, is hitting in succession. But right now... Um, that's not something we absolutely need. I have been meaning to go here to the Sainted Hero's Grave. So... How much time do we have in this video? Oh, dang. We've already done 30 minutes of this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here real quick. Finger ink. We're going to go to the Sainted Hero's Grave really fast. There's a lot of things that we still haven't completed in this game. Um, a lot of the catacombs, I don't believe, are completed. There's some that aren't completed. And we might have done a vast majority of them, but not all of them are done. Sainted Heroes Graves or Hero Graves, um, there are a few of them in the game. I'm not sure how many, but there's not a whole, whole lot. Let's see how this... Um, this skill adds up. 
See, that didn't do very much, but it did a good amount of damage. Oh, he's one of those. You need to get him into the light. What are you waiting for? Fool. Surprised he didn't die in one hit. So, Blood Flame Talons is not a, a super good move. You probably have to hire, have a higher affinity with, um, what do you call it? I'm not sure if uh, incantation scale Yeah, I don't think they scale. Yeah. Incantation, I'm pretty sure incantations do not scale with your attributes. So as long as you have the, um... As long as you have the right amount of uh, skill points in an attribute, um, I believe you can just use the magic. I don't think that there is a scaling system with magic or uh, spells or incantations. Never be too careful. There's always like a secret where you least expect it. Alright, let's progress through. Let's see what we got. This is going to be kind of annoying with this whole you need to get the enemies into the light. I don't like this area right here. I feel like I'm a. Yep. How did I know? How did I know? I just knew. That's why I went around and got that item first, because I knew the floor was going to drop out. It's just, it was, that was too obvious. <laughs> that, was, that was just way too obvious. The floor in the middle just screamed like it's going to fall. Okay. Can we open? No? No open? Oh, here we go. Okay, good. So not all the enemies in here are going to be like those stupid things. Okay, these enemies take two hits to um, the affinity with that is not very great. I mean, it doesn't give like too much of a boost. Oh, maybe it does. But it is a very good weapon. What is... Oh, I was like... That guy was not as bad as I thought he was going to be. I thought I got them all. Yeah, see how fl oh, uh, Flame Grant Me Strength already wore off? Yeah, it wears off kind of fast. Dang it. Okay, I want to go up there. Oh, no! Oh. Yeah. O flame grant me or it's not O flame grant me strength. I, well, I don't know why it's O. I think it's O flame grant me strength. There's another one I think that's. But um, flame grant me strength definitely does add to the fire affinity. Oh, 
game. Yeah, doing blood loss and fire damage is really, really nice. But the thing is, is you have to have, like, successive hits to get that fire, or not the fire, the blood loss build up. I hate that. You can't attack when you have a message. <gasps> Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. So we already have this one. The Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. But now we have Dragon Crest Shield Talismans. I think it was number two. Was it number two or was it number one? I think it was number two. Vastly boosts the physical damage negation. Enormously boosts the damage negation. So we found where that one was. I mean, I kind of skip around uh, when it comes to the game. I don't go to one set uh, area and just work my way. I go all over the place. Like, hey, listen. like how I did Kaled. Okay, so this is how we get back uh, up this way. We don't necessarily need to go back that direction. This is uh, the direction we need to go. Who texted me? Yeah, not using a shield and having that one talisman that gives you health back on successive hits is, like, a lot better than, than trying to, uh, time my block or, you know, not even timing my block, but just using the block method, because I usually use the, uh, sword and shield, uh, combo. As you guys have seen throughout my playthrough, it's, I usually use a sword and shield, or a weapon, some type of weapon and a shield. The Nagitana was my go-to weapon because you can attack b from behind your shield. Yeah, these guys are usually a pain in the ass for me, but you see how fast we, done, we did that? Yeah. Blood flame for the win, guys. Three root resins. Very nice. Okay, so this is the area we just went through down there. Let's continue to go up. Oh, great. This, really? Am I going to have to lure this guy out into the open? Yep. Yeah, I don't see another one of those things up here. And the nearest one, I think, is... Oops. Well, bye bye buddy. I'm gonna drag him all the way over here to fight him. Come on, dog. Let's go. Come on, flame. Grant me strength. Come on. Let's go. Bro, you have to. Let's go. Here we go. I wanted to get the stab off on him. Yeah, well, who cares? Woohoo! Somewhere a heavy door opened! Killer dog. Now, I don't necessarily need the glove warts that are up there, but having the items, I guess, I can sell them one day. Go up there real quick. 
Yeah, having items that I can sell, because I honestly don't see myself using any other uh, summoning tier other than the, um... Are you kidding me again? Yes, this guy just comes to life every time you come into this area. Or he's on a timer and he just revives. Okay, uh, there's two in here. Looks like a seven or a five? Four. And that one, like, looks like an eight or a nine. A five? What? The bells on there, they had way more of those bells that were on there. That's weird. Yeah, whatever. Let me see here. Let me see here and wonder why. Okay. Um, was it this? Yeah, it was this way, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Wonder what boss we're about to fight in here. Statue of Marika. Ah, oh, you son of a... Wait, I hit him in succession, though. Why didn't he give me health back? Maybe I need to dual wield to get the successive hits. Alright, guys. We're gonna go in here. Let me try this shadow bait move. Damn, Holmes. Got you. Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff. Legendary Ashen Remains. Wait, a Legendary Ashen Remains? Wait, was that maybe because I got all the Legendary Ashen Remains? Or is he a specific specific one? I want to check that trophy, sorry. I ha I'm going to have to check that trophy. What's this? Trophy Tracker, here we go. Got it. Start tracking. The trophies you track will appear here. What? Let's see. Legendary sorceries and acquire all legendary sorceries and incantations. Uh, obtained all trophies. Oh, that's the. No. Go to trophies. Oh, acquire all legendary ashen remains. So that's the one I just got. Can't load. Okay, start tracking. Oh, they're all hidden. Whatever. That's a pretty cool uh, thing that they, they get. They started doing now. I'm so glad that play, when PlayStation gives these like little updates. Look at this thing. This is new. All this looks new. Like they just revamped the whole thing. That's super cool. Love that. Platinum trophy for Elden Ring. That has got to be like one of the hardest thing. Le acquire all legendary armaments. Acquire all legendary talismans. Acquire all legendary sorceries. Yeah. Well, dude, that was that was a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be. So, wow. Got about ten minutes left. Sick. So that's done. Um, we're gonna go test this. Um, we're gonna go test this out on Melania. That see that move. I don't know if it'll uh, interrupt her, 
I do want to try using um, the Rivers of Blood and this weapon. Uh, see, you can't dual wield. Yeah, you can't dual wield uh, two different type weapons. It has to be two twin blades for it to work, or two swords for it to work. It's a cool sheath, though. I like that. Alright, so... Um, Rivers of Blood is stronger than Eleanor's pole blade. So, we're going to use Rivers of Blood first. I like the combo attack, though, with that weapon. Um, we are also going to have to, when we go and fight Melania... Where is the... I think it was this one. Yeah. Wait, this wasn't it. Is it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Yeah, fighting Melania is going to be tough, dude. Real tough. Okay, I don't have any rooms. What's this? Let's get to it. Thank you. Apologies. Wonderful. Please help. My beloved. Hello. Okay. So having greases would be another thing that might be useful when fighting um, Melania. But um, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be. Because we wouldn't be able to use one of those. I would I mean, using the Nagitana might be my next best bet but having a weapon with fire that does fire damage see that's why the rivers of blood is good because it does fire and blood blah blah blah, blah, blah blood loss so we're gonna go ahead and attach that um see if we can hit her when we're in the sky so what i do want to do though is i do want to hit her um and then summon the ash of the ash come on dog yeah see now, just get away from her and go. See how she... Dang. Dang! Yeah, that move... What? Oh, because... Fire's Deadly Sin is actually doing damage to me. So that may not be the best thing to use. But she did take damage when she hit me with that thing uh, equipped. So let's go in here real quick. And uh, let's get rid of this because that's not helping. Baiting her with that, that would help instead of having a mimic. That's definitely going to help. Um, flame protect me. Great increases fire damage. Negation. Raises physical and fire affinity attack power. Increases physical damage negation. Yeah, I wish I had enough to use that, but I don't. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to leave it to... Um, I mean, this... I don't know how good of a move that is. I really don't know. So we're going to get rid of it, and then we're going to put on uh, an, a healing incantation. Just in case, you know. So, go in. 
We'll cast Shadow Bait just to get away from her. Or get her away from us. She's fixated on me. She's not even... Yeah, it's not doing a whole lot of damage either. The moves in succession are definitely having... They're definitely having an effect on her. Yeah, she doesn't even seem to care. So now, let's uh, go ahead and summon the Mimic. Go like that. Okay, so now... Got her. Okay, so now the second phase is gonna suck, guys. I don't think we're gonna do too well in this. Um, I'm not sure that she can keep stealing life from us in the second phase, but... Fudge! Okay. Damn it, Scarlet Rot. She's almost dead, guys. Damn it. Damn, I almost had her too. Oh my god. Okay. Almost had her, so let's uh, continue this video. In the next video, we are going to stomp on her, guys. We are going to stomp on Melania. We got this. That's the, that's the strategy. Summon the Mimic in the second part of the fight so that she's not fixated on us because she does do a lot of damage. And keeping that, that uh, uh, flame grant me strength is what's working. But yeah, guys, we're going to end it right here. Only got a few seconds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. It does help my content. We'll catch you in just a second. We're going to beat her. We are.